Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Progressive Field here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Indians, as they will play host to the Oakland Athletics here in Game 4 of the 2019 American League Championship Series. The Oakland Athletics have a 3-0 lead in the series, and they have a chance to win here tonight and move on to the World Series by sweeping this Cleveland Indians team and whoever wins this series will be facing the Chicago Cubs as, as they have advanced to the World Series in the National League side of things as they topped the San Francisco Giants in the NLCS. So far in this series, every game has been decided by a matter of one run. As Oakland won Game 1, 4-3, they won Game 2, 2-1, two and they won Game 3, 3-2. Three so each of these were decided by one run, and they were all pitcher duels pretty much as the Cleveland pitching has been able to contain the Athletics lineup so far in the postseason. The Athletics lineup is as follows. Second baseman Jose Miguel Fernandez leads things off, followed by left fielder Solarte, center field Pollock, D.H. Davis, catching is Schwarber, first base Olsen, third base Slayton, right field Andino, and rounding things out is the shortstop Eric Pedroza. While on the mound for the Cleveland Indians is the right-hander Danny Salazar, has pitched one game so far in the postseason, and it was a complete game win, as he has a one ERA with nine innings, only given up six hits and striking out nine so far in the postseason. And he'll be starting his day off against Jose Miguel Fernandez, who's struggling a bit here in the ALCS, hitting a 143 clip here in the ALCS. And here comes the first pitch to him. And it's going to be pulled in the right field, lands in front of the fielders. That's going to be a single for Jose Miguel Fernandez to start off this game. So Fernandez on first base as that brings up the left fielder Solarte, who's 3 for 13 here in the ALCS. Runner on first is Fernandez. Salazar sets from the stretch. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be swung on and popped up into the foul territory. First base side, Santana's over near the dugout. And he'll retire that for at number one. So one down as Solarte is retired, as that'll bring up a three-hitter in A.J. Pollock, who is also not doing too hot in the ALCS, only three for 15. So the runner on first digs in, Santana sets and delivers. First pitch taken for ball one. Count runs 2-2 two -two now to Pollock. The Connecticut native. As here comes the pitch. And that's taken for strike three on the bottom half of the strike zone. Could not pull the trigger, so two down here in the top half of the first with a runner on first, and that brings up Chris Davis, who is also struggling a bit here in the ALCS, hitting 200. Digs in with a 1-2 count, and he whiffs through the 1-2 count as that's going to be strike three, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Salazar. And after giving up the leadoff hit, he, he leaves halfway through one with a scoreless inning. Welcome back to the bottom half of the first inning as the Indians lineup is second baseman Jason Kipnis, center fielder Gomez, shortstop Lindor, catching is Gomes in the cleanup spot, while left fielder Frazier, and then Moss is the DH at sixth, Urshela third base, right field Chisholm Hall, and then rounding things out is the first baseman Carlos Santana. While on the mound for the Athletics is J.R. Newman, making his second start of the postseason. His first was to close out the ALDS with their sweep of the Blue Jays, as he won that game, and they're turning to him again to see to close out this sweep, possibly, of the Indians. And he'll be facing Jason Kipnis, who's hitting 429 here in the ALCS. And the first pitch to him is taken for ball one. Misses the outside half, so one out count runs the one-two now on Kipnis as Newman, working from the windup, turns, kicks, and fires. And he whiffs through the fastball way up in the zone. So whiffs right through it at strikeout number one for Newman on the day. And one down as that brings up Carlos Gogo Gomez, the former Houston Astro, now with the Cleveland Indians. As here comes the 1 1 pitch. That's going to be chopped out to second base. Fernandez ranges to his left and tosses over to first, as that's going to be retired for out number two. So, two down as that brings up the three hitter in Francisco Lindor, who is hitless so far in the ALCS 0 for 15. They have had his number so far, and here comes the 0 2 pitch to him. And he will remain hitless at least for one more inning as Lindor goes down on the up and in fastball. So two strikeouts in the inning for Newman and a ground out as he picks up a 1 2 3 inning, and we are scoreless here at the end of one.
And here we are back in the top half of the sixth inning as Jose Miguel Fernandez digs in to face Danny Salazar, still scoreless in this game. And here comes the first pitch, and that's whiffed through for strike one. So the 0-1 count to Fernandez runs full now as it's 3-2. And here comes from Salazar as that's going to be driven out to left center field. Frazier goes back, gives it a leap, and it's over his glove. That's off the wall. Fernandez at second base. Rounding second. He's not stopping there. The cutoff throw to third is not in time as Jose Miguel Fernandez picks himself up a leadoff triple as that gets over the head of Frazier at left field. And now that'll bring up the left fielder in Jan Hervis Solarte. So Fernandez on third, and here comes the first pitch from Salazar. That's taken outside for ball one. Questionable call, but it's called it as a ball. So 2-1 count now to Solarte. Salazar working from the stretch. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be popped up into deep left field. Frazier goes back. He retires this one, but that's way too deep to get a throw to the plate in time. So Fernandez will tag up and score with ease. And the Athletic strike first in this one. So one nothing A's on the sack fly from Solarte to drive in Fernandez. And now with one out, A.J. Pollock digs in. He's 0 for 2 so far with a strike and a ground out. And he's got a 1-2 count on him. So the kick and the pitch from Salazar is chopped over third base. Nice scoop from Urshela. Tosses across the diamond and Pollock is retired for out number 2. So two down now as that brings up the D.H. and Chris Davis. And here comes the pitch from Salazar. First pitch is swung on and taken past the diving glove of Rochelle at third. It gets into left field. Frazier fields, gets it into second base quickly. And Davis is held to a single. So Chris Davis keeps the inning alive with a two-out base knock. And that'll bring up the catcher and Kyle Schwarber, the fifth hitter in this order. Looking for another two-out hit as here comes the pitch. And that's going to be lined directly at Santana, who makes the snag, steps on the bag, and that's going to be out number three. But the Athletics do strike for one, so it's one nothing A's here halfway through six. Welcome back to the bottom half of the seventh inning as the A's are still in the lead. one nothing here over Cleveland, and Francisco Lindor digs in with a 1-2 count. And here comes the pitch from Newman. That's going to be swung on and popped up in the left field, and it gets right past Solarte. He was there, but it just goes right past him. So uh, Lindor is at second, rounding second. He's into third safely with a triple or correction. That's going to be credited with an error. So Lindor is still hitless in the ALCS, but he is on third base here to lead off the inning. And that'll bring up the cleanup hitter and the catcher, Jan Gomes, with a 2-2 count on him and the pitch from Newman. And it gets past Schwarber. It's at the backstop. Here comes Lindor. The throw to the plate is not in time as Lindor slides in safely. And we have a tie game here in the bottom half of the seventh. So 1-1 one, one game now as the 3-2 pitch to Gomes is taken for ball four up and in. So he'll take his base, trot over to first. So one are on first now is Gomes with nobody out. And that'll bring up the left fielder and Clint Frazier, who's 0 for 2 so far in the day. Digs in with an 0-2, 1-2 count. And here comes the pitch from Newman. And that's whiff through for the two-seamer. He goes down swinging on the two-seamer, down and in. Could not catch up to it. So one down now is with a runner on first and Gomes. That brings up Brandon Moss, the former athletic. And the 1-2 pitch is going to be popped up behind the plate as Schwarber's camped under that one. And he puts that one away. Can of corn for out number two. So Gomes will still be at first base, and that'll bring up the third baseman in Giovanni Urshela. With an 0-2 count, here comes. And he whips through that one. The slider gets in the go down swinging. So Newman only allows one run in the inning, as that's going to be a 1-1 tie game here at the end of seven. Welcome back to the top half of the ninth inning as Danny Valencia will enter the game at first base as a defensive replacement for the Indians. And Chris Davis will be leading off the inning here against Tanner Sheppers of the Indians. So here comes the pitch as Davis gives this one a ride at the right center field. Gomez is back at the wall, looks up, and you can watch that one fly. Chris with a K. Davis with a solo shot makes it a 2-1 Athletics lead. 399 feet to right center field, his fourth home run of the postseason. 
as it's now a 2-1 Athletics here in the top half of the ninth. And the 2-2 pitch to Schwarber is dribbled that in front, fielded by Gomes, and he'll toss that one over to first as that's retired for at number one. But the A's do have a 2-1 lead now, and here comes Matt Olson with a one out and digs in. First pitch is ripped to first baseman Valencia, and he makes the snag. Nice play by the former athletic Danny Valencia. So two down now as that brings up the third baseman in Brady Slayton. With a 3-1 to count, here comes from Shepherds. That's going to be ripped at the left field. Frazier dives and it gets past him. That's going to roll up against the wall in left field as Slayton, who's not the fleetest of foot, gets into second base with a double. Lindor's throw on the cutoff gets over to third. So Slayton holds up at third with a double with a chance to drive in some insurance runs as Andino comes up, but they're going to intentionally walk him to set up the force play. So Andino now on first, Slayton on second, and that's, that, that's going to bring up Pedroza, but they're going to pinch hit with him for Dian Toscano. So Toscano digs in with two outs and two on, facing Tanner Shepherds. Here comes the first pitch, and that's going to be ripped into right field, but Chisholm Hall barely has to move as that's hit right to him. So he's going to be retired for out number three, but not before the A's strike for one and a solo shot from Chris Davis. So 2-1 A's over the Indians as a score halfway through nine. And here we are in the bottom half of the ninth inning. A's in the lead as Andy Burns will come into play shortstop now, and Tony Watson will enter the game trying to close this one out and send the A's to the World Series as they are three outs away from sweeping this Indians team. As here is still hitless Lindor with a 1-2 count. The pitch, and he chases the sinker. He got him. Sinker strike out there for Tony Watson as Lindor could not hold off. So one down now as that brings up the cleanup hitter and Jan Gomes, who's one for two on the day with a double. Digs it with an 0-1 count. Watson sets and delivers. That's going to be lined out to right field directly at Andino as he retires that for at number two. So the A's are one out away from moving on to the World Series. So left fielder Clint Frazier digs in now for the Indians as he is their last hope. 0-1 count to Frazier as Watson sets at the belt. The pitch is taken up the middle for a single. So Frazier with a two-out two out base knock to keep the inning alive and keep their hopes alive for this Cleveland ball club. So Frazier on first as that brings up D.H. Brandon Moss, the former Oakland Athletic who's over three on the day. 3-1 count to him as Watson sets. Delivers. As that's called a ball right on the black, but call the ball. So he takes his base. That's ball four. Sets up first and second now with two outs as the tying and go-ahead run are on base and the tying run is on second. So two outs as Urshela digs in. As that gets past the shortstop, Burns. And they're going to hold up at third as the throw from Solarte is in. Is They're not going to test him, so base is loaded. Now for the Indians, that brings up Lonnie Chisenhall. And they're going to leave Watson in the game to face the left-handed Chisenhall here with two outs. All they need is one to get out of this jam. As the first pitch to Chisholm Hall is in there for strike one. So base is loaded. 2-1 lead for the A's. One, two, count the Chisholm Hall. You got to think a slider is coming. Here comes the pitch, and that's past the third baseman. Slayton, as one comes in at the tie game, the throw to the plate is not in time as the Indians have walked this one off as they have extended this series to include a game five here in the ALCS as the Cleveland Indians win this one by a score of 3-2 to two on a walk-off RBI, two RBI single by Lonnie Chisenhall. What an ending here at Progressive Field in this game four as they have held off the sweep and they play at least one more day. So the Indians keep their hopes alive as they win this game 3-2 and the series is now 3-1. Oakland still in the lead, obviously. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Oakland Athletics Baseball. The series is 3-1 here in the ALCS. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye.